I want to get you updated on our grain prices and then uh, we'll go on a quick journey to the East Coast here in a moment. Let's take a look at that corn market and soybean trade and wheat market. On the corn right now in Chicago, we have December down a couple of pennies at 368 and a half, so it's still kind of weak in the knees. All the deferred contracts, one and a half to one and three quarters lower. On the soybean market, boy, it's really sagging here now. Look at January. We're down eight and three quarters. We're trading at 883 and three quarters, and this is after an overnight high of 895. Wow, over 11 cents off our overnight high now in the soybean trade. And if you look at the wheat <clears throat> in the uh, Chicago wheat, first of all, we are down three in December at 528. And in Kansas City, we have that December contract losing a lot of steam today, down six and a half at 429. Minneapolis wheat is down a penny as well. Well, now I want to go to the Mid-Atlantic region where we check in with our regular contributor. It is Ben Hushen of the Mill in Whitehall, Maryland. Ben, uh, <clears throat> early happy Thanksgiving to you and yours, and thanks for everything you do for us through the course of the year. I uh, wondered if you could give us an update on what's going on maybe weather-wise with the crops out there and what producers are up to right now. Good morning, Marlon, and uh, certainly from my family to yours and all the employees there at uh, RFD TV and uh, Rural Radio, but certainly I wish you a great Thanksgiving. And I tell you, in the, since we talked last week, we we had some snow as much as three inches on Sunday. Didn't stay. Uh, started Saturday night, Sunday morning, and was gone by noon on Sunday. But other than that, it was a it was a really good harvest week. So uh, for folks trying to clean up double crop beans and the Alaska corn is actually a very good week for us again. Looks like maybe you had enough of a harvest that you can't even hold it all there. You know, uh, in, in our geography, of course, knowing this is Thanksgiving week, there is a lot to be thankful for. In our geography, we had a great start, uh, had tremendous yields, and honestly, in the corn, we had a very fair price uh, at harvest for the kind of yields we had. And as I drove by uh, the community's good friends and my good friends, Mom and Pa Farms, the Schwartzes this morning, I uh, couldn't help but turn around and grab a couple pictures. Uh, that's a sign of the kind of things that we should be thankful for, the kind of yields that are so big that they're having to put corn out on the ground. And then I was also reminded of all the infrastructure and all the people that Farmers should be thinking about being thankful for that that a family like that, Mom and Pa Farms, is willing to pile. That's 40, I think they told me, about 40,000 bushel on the ground. And for viewers and listeners that say, that sounds like a lot, well, that's $150,000 plus that they will be able to gather back up. But uh, we take for granted uh, a lot of the things we should be thankful for in the ag community, especially in a year that's been pretty darn good like this one has. And I'm glad you pointed that out. That's a scenario that has been repeated oftentimes uh, all across this uh, great land, uh, having to put it on the ground just so the farmers have somewhere to uh, take their grain at harvest time and uh, they do have a willing market for it. There is a risk involved too. So uh, we thank everybody involved. <clears throat> Thanks for pointing that out, uh, Ben. And again, happy Thanksgiving early. Uh, ben Hushen of the Mill in Whitehall, Maryland. We'll come back in a moment and we'll take a look at our livestock trade here on a Tuesday when we come back. Let's take a look at our livestock trade here on a Tuesday on the live cattle first. Here we go with a look at our current trade. On the big board in Chicago, we're mixed and narrowly so. We have December trading 15 higher. We're at 119.85 per hundred weight. And now you have February, just one tick higher, uh, two cents higher at 125.17. So just not much going on here. Very quiet trade this holiday week. Uh, we have the deferreds under just a very small amount of pressure there, uh, down as much as 17 cents if we go all the way out to August of next year. Now let's look at our feeder cattle market today. Feeders have seen a little weaker tone. We have January down 72. We're at 141.25 right now. That would be, excuse me, that'd be about 20 cents off our low of the day. And it's off of our earlier high by about 80 cents or so. 
If you look at March, we're down 72 cents there as well at 141.63. All right, moving on to our lean hog trade. As we are in the early morning hours here, we have the December contract still down 32. We're at 6070, and that would be a dime from our low of the day right now. February down 47 at 6728. So we have been on both sides of unchanged, but a little weaker right now, at least on the nearbys. If you look at the deferreds, we're a little bit higher. May is actually up 30 cents at 8030, and those are those contracts that already have a very steep premium to the nearbys to begin with. Let's look at our uh, livestock summary from yesterday, and we didn't have any uh, cash cattle trade to speak of. A lot of analysts wondering how early that will actually shake loose this week, because a lot of times it'll wait till maybe Thursday, but with that being a holiday, that kind of disrupts the uh, normal routine. So they're thinking maybe we'll start to see some stuff uh, take place already today. Haven't seen it quite yet, but we're waiting. Uh, the live hog prices around the country yesterday, on a national basis, they were down three cents. Carcass basis down three cents. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, Ed Serwin supplied us with some uh, finished cattle market prices here from this past week. Uh, Ed Serwin is with CZ Cattle Market Analytics. He's in Amarillo, Texas. And the cash volume last week was up about 13,000 head, up 13,318 at 87,321. The formula-based volume 239,700. Now that was down about 11,700 head. The average cash live price, well, it calculated out to be about 77 cents higher than the week before at 115.96. The average carcass price was up $1.87 last week. The formula price was up $2.15. As far as the weights go, on the national steer carcass weight last week, uh, we had the price or the uh, weight rather at uh, 908 pounds compared to 903. The week before, and last year, that was 904. The spread on choice and select spreads were uh, 2125, and that was down about five bucks from the previous week, Janet. All right, as always, thank you very much, sir. Mm -hmm.